have an appointment. We have a really important appointment at two. Would you want to come here? How? How? Susie. On a des bêtises, hein? Pardon? Regarde-le, l'ami Serge. Ah, l'ami. Plus le client, mais l'ami. T'es un client, tu resteras toujours un client. Mais t'es un ami aussi, figure-toi. Et puis, et puis euh, bah, nous, on se fait du souci. Regarde, t'es es trop triste, là. Dr. Thibodeau has the test results. These results will determine if treatment is an option. So why are we sitting why? here? Why? It's right. like, why? why? I, I want to get up. All I ever do is explain myself to you. 32 years. Three? 33 years. My lover. My best friend. My sweetheart. My name is Hal. <laughs> I like chocolate chip. Pancakes. I can't get enough of Billy Holiday. I have managed to find a spot on the street to park my Buick for the last 27 years. Yes, 27 years. That was yesterday. Today I'm a goddamn oncological case study for the folks over there in little white coats at St. Vincent's. I'm tired. Not today. Honey. Just Honey. not. Sorry it took so long. They have a blow in there. No, no, please. I know I'm, I'm alone more than you know. And nobody keeps better company than me. So... Oh, oh, my God. Are you... Let me help you, sir. You all right? Oh, and ne never better. <laughs> yeah, that's what my grandfather used to say. Never better. <laughs> better never do that again. <laughs> just, just be yourself. I'll give you tea. Sympathy. Okay. King cliche. How about this? There's many a slip twixt the cup and the lip, and you, mate, how mm. without your bitch for the rest of this match you were so certain you were going to win, yes? Yes. <laughs> as innocent as you pretend to be, we'd never get anywhere. Well. Please, that's easy as speakeasy. The Maltese Falcon. Have it in Houston. The hardest of the hard boil. What can I get you to drink? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, root beer float? <laughs> okay. Um, a root beer float. What? Is, is, that, is that okay? No, I mean, you, you don't, you're laughing. Is, you guys have No, yes, no, we do. We have floats. It's just cute to hear you order a float for brunch. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so uh, vanilla ice cream, uh, two scoops if you can. Okay, two scoops if I can. <laughs> what about you? Um, actually, I think a root beer float sounds great. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, just one scoop. Please. Okay. Yeah. All right, so how about I bring you one there big, with two straws? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, no, 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 I, I, that wouldn't be good. I, I think that I'd like my own. Okay. Because I'm just a germ guy. <laughs> what? You're a germ guy? Not so much germs, like viruses. Okay, so, you know, I was walking in the beauty salon the other day, oh. and something felt different. It was so quiet, honey. I had on my brand new heels. They're a little worn down now, but when they were new, darling, they made such a loud click. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do this today. What? You know, Susie, some would say that this condition I have, this cancer, is a rainy day at best, and I would agree. It's pouring over here. Cats and dogs, thunder and lightning. <sighs> Let me tell you. The one brief spot of sunlight I get in all this is I get a relief from the chatter, from the mundane. If you want to talk, 
Well, then, for God's sake, make it about something. But don't just keep filling the air to make yourself comfortable. Food, weather, clicking of the heels. You won't have it. My clock is ticking. So if you've got something to say, let's just get down to it. Fine, I'm sorry. Mais écoute, Serge, t'as un train de vie des plus enviés. T'as l'allure, t'as l'amour, t'as le perfect eye et la main bénie qui deviendront non seulement de plus en plus lucratifs, mais légendaires. Ouais, et tu restes planté là, le cul sur ton tabouret, à nous répéter à n'en plus finir que t'es incapable de peindre. Oui, toi, un mec avec une veine extraordinaire. C'est pas une question de veine, là, c'est du talent pur. Mais oui, et, et de la tenacité de most potent cocktail. Alors dis-moi, pourquoi tu ne peux plus peindre Qu'est-ce qui rend ta vie si misérable Tu veux vraiment savoir Oui, je veux savoir. Oui, vraiment oui, savoir. Et moi, je veux le savoir aussi, parce que comme il dit ici, my bottom line really depends on it. Yes, our bottom line and my byline. C'est simple. Je suis trop heureux. Oh, en ce moment, je suis trop heureux I don't want to hear you better yet. Don't want to hear you, Betty. I don't want to hear you either, Ali. I just want to hear this. Quiet. Shh. Hey, you might want to try composing yourself before you attempt music. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I should let you, you know, ask what you might have wanted. Let, let you order first, Clara. 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 It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh, hi, Terrence. Hello, Lee. V as in being glorious. As in vexing. As in bolt. Ouch. Good one. I've got a fresh pot almost up, KK. Mmm, I can smell. Sure, I'll have a pour. And I'll have a spot more mint tea, V. Spoonful of sugar. <laughs> Stirred in with a chimney sweep. And a coffee, Carly Simon, for you, Terry. Yep, with clouds. You know me so well. <laughs> So is there just going to be one of you today, or...? No, unfortunately not. No, I, I shouldn't say that. That's my own fear of talking. Or, or my, my guilt, rather. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to handle these. I'm sorry. No, what am I uh, apologizing for? I haven't done anything wrong, have I? Nice of you to ask for what I desire. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Lubelle. So very sorry. And not from the root word sorrow, no, hardly. Sorry as in sore. As in, it pains me to have wronged you. I don't like your manners. Ooh, you're frisky today. <laughs> well, I'm not crazy about yours. I didn't ask to see you. I don't mind if you don't like my manners. I don't like them myself. They're pretty bad. I grieve over them long winter evenings. And I don't mind you ritzing me or drinking your lunch out of a bottle, but don't waste your time trying to cross-examine me. <gasps> on the big sleep, Hawks and Chandler, Bogart and Bacall. Yeah, well, it's all a big dream to me. Instead of everyone else, you might have seen that move coming. It was bigger than the board, my friend. Just as a metaphor for life, the answers are all around us. Okay, so a glass of vino coming up. <laughs> and um, perhaps I'll have a shot of bourbon. That I'll, that I'll just sip, not shoot, so rocks glass. A bourbon. Life is a game. No. It's more of an experiment. No. It's a test. Yeah, test. Test tubes, you and me. Mm, life be a folly. Yeah. Folly? It's a friggin' hoax. Now move. I suppose I'll need a small cake. A cake? Right. But uh, something modest. Uh, strawberry shortcake, lady fingers, something or other. Right, so you need a wine and a bourbon and a strawberry shortcake. This is a brunch fit for Liberace. I also need the cake to have candles. Uh, and not, not one, but 18. 18? Yes, 18. Okay. And you know, I'll be the... Don't do this again now. You know, 
I'll be the first to admit that when Doc Tippy Toes gave Thibodeau. me the new doctor. Thibodeau, Doctor Tippy Toes. Tippy Toes. Tippy Toes. Thibodeau. As I was saying, Susan, when Doc Tippy Toes first gave me the news, I thought to myself, glioblastoma, what a lousy way to check out. Oh. But then, when he added the word malignant, you should have seen me. I stood up, I shook that man's hand. Well, then at least I had something malignant, huh? Something you give it a bit more bite, more weight, right? You are a gift for listening. It's just I'm a, I'm expecting some quite special company today. And a real special girl. Okay, well, I'd love to stay and play, but you know, I just got a four top and I don't want my smile to crack, so. No problem. But, you know, it's just that when I'm finished here, I'll, I'll probably have a cigarette. You allow smoking in here, sweet? Sweet, sweetie? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna have the Pinot and the bourbon and the cake and the cigarette and the girl on the way. Is there anything else I can get you? How about just ooh, a pillow and a condom? Nice jab. You're quick. I like that. Is there anything else? I mean, what about your ego? What's that gonna happen? Let's see. Hello. <laughs> Uh, well, I, no, I just, I, I, I can't believe I, I, I think I'm just, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> what? You didn't do anything wrong. Uh, do, do you see anything you like here? I mean, because we could always go somewhere else. No, this is great. I think I'm all set. What are you thinking of having? Well, I don't know. I was thinking maybe like a goat cheese salad, but I mean, it's like a... Really? That's what I'm getting. So you're gonna get that too, huh? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll get something else. No, we can get the same. All right. Okay. So. <laughs> so that that's kind of funny that we're getting the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So how'd you finally decide to do it? Do what? <laughs> Well, Lulu Boohoo, you're dressed up like a stroke of midnight. I can only assume that you killed your character. You know, you're so well danced. Wanna guess? Well, considering it was Ursula Dithers, that Hellcat protagonist of yours, mm -hmm. I imagine you light bulbed her to be deserved of only one kind of demise a violent one. Right. In the MO, I haven't a clue, of course, but a world I'll give. Let's say, smile. Naked beneath a pale green sheet, 300 count, as she went from pink to pale, a post-coital kill. <laughs> no. 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 No, well, it's beneath me to guess again. Oh. You want me to tell you? You sorry as in sore loser you? <laughs> Tell me, it's the best-selling book of all time. The Bible. Yeah, I kind of gave that one away. Yeah, too bad, no more. Scarlett Debussy, Hemingway, Fitzgerald, James, Joyce, Allez, la panoplie de Luna. Chopin, Six billion copies. Hmm? The Bible has sold six billion. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll sell a hell of a lot more now. Mm. Kind of unbelievable, isn't it? Kind of hard to get your head around. I mean, six billion copies. Like, what is that? How much is that? Like, it's kind of like thinking about six billion dollars. Like, how much is that? Don, why do you insist on injecting trivia into our game? Casper, chess is a battle of yeah, wits. Well, congratulations. You know a very lot about the very little. <laughs> but I got it right. The Bible. Six billion copies, so touche. Ursula wasn't bludgeoned, she was butchered. Mm, yes. By her husband. It's getting dead. Mm. With the same knife that she was going to fillet the inties and mahi mahi that she had bought for her lover for dinner that same eve. Oh, so bad. What I to you since the day you made me leave Paris, where you made me abandon alcohol, the drugs, the putes. Maman, mes putes. 
Et maintenant, je vois un psy trois fois par semaine qui me gonfle le cerveau, le lithium, comme, comme, comme un ballon. Mais je vois pas de problème. Mais le problème, c'est que je me sens mieux. C'est bien, ça, c'est super, non, je comprends pas. parce que... I like what made me so good. Yeah. Oh, Lulu. How I love you so. How so? So, so. I mean, such an impassioned slaying, yet elegant. Oh, your mind, how it works. Well, Terry, you can always tell one's conviction by the thought that's behind it. Behind what? You know, all the big stuff. You know, if you're gonna kill someone, you might as well make it creative, right? Right. Sorry to get so dark. What I meant was, say if you were... To, I don't know, propose to someone. Well, if someone was to propose to me, I couldn't just say yes, no matter how I felt about the person, unless he put some effort into creating a really elaborate proposal. And if he didn't, I would have to question whether or not we were the right match, and then I might say no. Right. Well, that duel is not done yet, my friend. The Bible, that was easy. But I have another little nugget. What's the second best-selling book of all time? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not this time. You are not going to distract me from this game. You and your questions. The Bible. I got it right. So who cares what the second best-seller of all time winners is? Winners are winners, but I'll tell you something. Runners-up have a much better story to tell. Well, you know, winners are winners. 800 million copies. Don, why don't you decide and pick a piece and move. Okay. Just right, okay, pick a piece. Okay, okay, Casper, all right. Relax. Okay, I'll give you a clue. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. Jocelyn? Jocelyn, over here. Jo Jocelyn, over here. Hi. So many better ways to die, though. Operatic ways. Massive stroke. Poisoning. Beheaded. Ways I deserve. Here we go again. Or how about this? Something even more operatic. Something even more Tarzanic. Tarzan? Yes. You know, cardiac arrest. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tarzan, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. You and your words. <laughs> yeah, gems, each and every one of them. Huh? Just never able to string them together in just the right order for any publisher to pay attention. To your memoir. My memoir. You my memoir. memoir. Must be so red. I, I hate when I get red. Am I red? No. Rosie. I, I get like that too when I when I first. Uh... Oh yeah. Him. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So spruce with the sweetest caboose. He's at your feet, little bit. <laughs> go go go, please. When the enemy attacks, withdraw. When they stop, harass. When they tire, strike. What the hell is it? Mao. Mao? Mao Tse Tung. It's a book of quotations, second best selling book of all time. Wow. I'm not sure how that sits with me, Don. Oh. You're in awe. <clears throat> So, can I get your friend here something, or...? Oh, uh, um, excuse me. Yes, miss. Miss. Yes. Um, how about a hot apple cider? Would you like that? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> sure. Two, sure. Yes. So... Mais c'est ça qu'il dit. Mais non, mais c'est plus intelligent que ça. C'est plus profond que ça. Alors c'est quoi Dis-nous-le. Ben, la souffrance. La souffrance. Pour moi, les choses, elles doivent être beaucoup plus merdiques avant de devenir meilleures. C'est simple. Ça, je t'ai complètement taré. Tu comprendras jamais de toute façon. Tu es cinglé. Tu es complètement taré. The door. The door. The bells. 
The bell's what? On the door. The bell's on the door. Yeah, somebody just came in. Oh, that tall drink of water. More like a black Russian in a highball. What? It was the bells. They didn't ring. They tolled. Yes, they tolled. It tolled indeed. Yes, they did toll. Definitely a toll. The harbinger of a harried fellow? No, not Harry. The toll was ominous. Mm, pretentious. Yes, yeah, good. Pretentious. A better buttery word. Mm. Resonant with a vengeance. Mm. One mint tea and a coffee with clouds, cause you're so vain. <laughs> no, 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 shh, 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 no offense, pal. But we got a little performance going on right here. Ooh, funny little ha-ha for your broom. What's going on? Do you know that guy? Who? That man with bloodshot eyes like Bella L. Or the sartorial splendor a la Red Butler. Nope, never seen him before. Gal. Oh, do you, Val? Though, no, maybe not. It's pretty typical. <laughs> the gal, Val? Hardly typical. Yeah, the blonde, hands curled around her cup. No, she's no ordinary gal. More a gamine. Or a popsy, perhaps. No. A damsel. I had no idea you... My God, you must have left the house that have got awful out to get here. Unless you were coming straight from the airport. When did you get back in town? I thought you were due later in the week. Thursday, I thought you said. The waitress is coming back in a second. You know what you want? Or you need more time, maybe. Maybe you want a moment to decide. A moment to decide? Why don't you tell me about that moment for you? A moment? What moment? Decide. The moment you decided to kill me. You'll never be bloody enough. No bloody at all. Cassius. Cassius. Mm. Great name Caesar had, huh? What must be like to be stabbed? Lou <laughs> Gehrig. Lou Gehrig, that old son of a bitch. <laughs> Coined his own disease. In that speech, I was at that game. Are you telling me that your life is on par with Caesar or Lou Gehrig? It's Gehrig. Gehrig? Come on. Great lives deserve great deaths. OK, let me get this straight. So, so, so the fact that you may be dying is not as important as the way you are going to die. Is that right? Have I got it right? How ridiculous are you? You know what I think? Seldom. <laughs> I think that you've given up. I think that... And you just don't care. I think that you're scared. You're scared, my love, of what kind of treatment options are open to you. Treatment options, treat a poison with a poison, meet my maker, glowing in a radioactive green hue. Yeah, that's some option. No, Susie, I don't deserve that. Not that way. Cancer is slow. Cancer is undignified. Cancer is not death. Cancer is dying. Death is the relief. <sighs> Can I tell you something? Anything. I, I've been waiting for this moment for, oh my gosh, I think maybe my whole life's like, shh. I know, I know. My high school English teacher always tells me that, to keep it down, to take the edge off. Oh, that's right, you're still in high school. At 18? Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess it's right. I, I just didn't, I didn't realize. Even so, I, I would be graduated, but I stayed back in, in second grade. Four? Oh, it was during recess on the swings. I... Yeah, you know what? It's not important. Seen that girl again, aren't you? No, no, no. She bit me, remember? I told 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the bite. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh. I did go out, oh. though. Yes, I did. Yeah. Mr. Manhattan, at it again. I painted this town a coat of red. I can paint it blue, too. Now move. Mm, so, wait, we agreed that the good book was number one, and we agreed that Mao Zedong was the runner up. But who is the greatest author? No. No. What? No. Don, please, just go. What? You always do this. Whenever you're about to lose, you start looking around, and then you start asking me these questions about stuff that is so irrelevant to the game. That I lose my focus. Everything is relevant in its own way. You just have to pay attention. Ah, <sighs> uh, so. So. You, uh, you live on the Upper East Side? So you took the four, five, or six train to get here? Six. Right. Yeah. And you live? On the Upper West Side, so I took the one. Oh, really? The one? Yeah, the one. <laughs> Days, weeks, months. Indeed, months since they've seen one another. Yet no kiss, no embrace. To touch would give them away. But to not touch is equally telltale. Infidelity. Faithless. One forlorn. But which one? No. no. Both? Both, yes, both have lost their way, haven't eaten each other's breadcrumbs. One on one night stand, one carried on. The affair was hers. The stand his, always his, yet he loves her no less before or after the trespass occurred. But she disregards his plea, even after his random hump hump was divulged. She knows that divorce isn't necessarily the only option. No, divorce is so cliche. Relish is far better. Hmm. A quiet delight, it is now her turn. A turn already taken? You know, I thought I was going to get through the whole morning without hearing about your fantabulous book, but hippity hoo, here it is. <laughs> For your reading pleasure, yours and yours alone. For now, but someday. Serge, tu es comme, comme tous ces artistes qui manquent de confiance lorsqu'il s'agit de leur propre talent. C'est dingue qu'il faut souffrir pour créer. Écoute, ah, Serge, je sais plus. Moi, je peux, faire, je peux vendre n'importe quoi. De Kooning, Polak, 11 millions de dollars chacun. Un, un, roi du pétrole qui croit que, que sa petite fille peut mieux faire avec trois petits rayons de couleur, là. Mais alors, quand il s'agit de te convaincre que ton talent est inné et pas acquis à travers la souffrance, je sais plus. Je suis paumé. Convaincre. C'est comme ça que tu m'inspires Tu peux, je suis pas... Écoute-moi. Okay, so we've got one Pinot and a bourbon in a rocks glass for old Pop Pop here. And a hot apple cider for the terror on the swing set. Excuse me, Justin. Old Pop Pop? You know, this is a very sensitive issue for both of us. I hope you understand. No, I do. I do. It's probably not a phrase you've heard very much, is it? I do. Shakespeare. No. That thing is so thick. <laughs> Why are you convinced that your life is deserved of a memoir? Tell me. Because I've lived. Not just me, everyone has. My belief that as we go through life, we all discover a nugget of truth along the way. And not just about ourselves, but about this, about it, about all of this, what this is, what the hell it is. And this is just my way of putting what I discovered on the record. Why not? I'm pleased with my life. I'm pleased with what I've come to learn about myself. What's the title? Charmed. Charmed? That's the title? 
Oh, boy. Happy Hal. Jules Verne. Jules Verne? <laughs> no. No? I often wonder what it would have been like if we, if we had met years ago. Look at you. You are, oh, magnificent. So, tell me, what, what does your mom think about us seeing each other? Oh, yeah, my mom, right. Well, she's not too happy. No, no, I didn't think she, she would be, but it was her choice. Yeah, I know, but... Um, can you say yes? I don't say yes, yeah. say, say yes, because yeah makes you sound so young. It makes the generation gap that much more apparent. <laughs> so, now, like the fairest young lady you are, what do we say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were, you were saying... saying. Um, I was saying yes, but... Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> t'es trop bête, tout ça c'est trop con. Hein? Ça fait trois semaines que t'es marié, des choses changent. Hein? Tu souffres peut-être pas maintenant, mais après deux ou trois ans, mon coco, tu verras parce que. Enfin bon. Ça changera. Disons que que que, que l'on rentre dans ton petit jeu là. Hein? Mais alors il y a une seule condition. Si on trouve un artiste, n'importe lequel. N'importe qui. Ouais, n'importe qui qui ait, qui ait créé une œuvre gigantesque, une œuvre vénérée encore aujourd'hui. Et tout ça sans ton petit principe de, de souffrance. Ok. Hein? Et alors, on met cours à cette conversation et toi, tu continues à peindre. Qu'est-ce que tu en dis Je peins. Très bien. Ah, ah. J'alimente ton compte en banque, hein Le pognon, ton ça. magazine et je peins. Mais si vous ne trouvez pas. Alors Alors, vous me foutez la paix. Vous me lâchez la main et vous me foutez la paix. Vous me permettez de me tourmenter, d'hésiter, même si ça me ruine. D'accord. Lenin. Lenin? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously not John. Vladimir Lenin? Yeah. You're kidding me. No. That is scary. Between that and Mao, it makes you think that everyone's a closet guy. Mm. Uh, so, Clara, uh, you're not a communist, are you? Excuse me? No, 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 f f forget I said that. Uh, would you just hold on for a second? I, I, I just have to use the restroom. It's the, uh, the, the float and all. I get it, you're kidding me, I get it. Okay. <laughs> and also, let's say, check. How did you do that? Lenin. Never underestimate the pawns, right? Absolutely blowing. I'm sorry, who are you? That doesn't matter. Look, you see this? This, this, and this? You know what this is? This is a sonata. Your sonata. It's not for full orchestra. It's only for a select few instruments. A melody for two. You and her. Uh, a sonata, right? So, that's great. You got a title yet? At the moment? Shit. This time it was me. Yes, but I understand something. This was no revenge fuck. If it was, I would have done it back when you There's started. At least it not have caught you. There's a retrograde desire within all of us. With a love of the dark. You're a beautiful woman. Exquisite. It's more susceptible to your demons. Could have helped. 
At least I don't know how black you're capable of painting the picture. What do you think I've done that you haven't? No, no, I'm not here, okay? I'm dead. No longer able to exist as that man, your husband. Listen, symphony, like a grander sonata, in Greek, means sounding together. Men and women, relationships, it's like a dance, a longing look, a lingering scent, a twirl, a dip, um, uh, two instruments, but one magnificent melody. And you must hear this melody and listen to hers and the company, then answer and the company and answer. Oh, okay. All right, now, listen, the acoustics in here are not ideal, but they'll be okay. So, first movement, the Allegro. How, how old is she? Um, my mom, why? Mm -hmm. Just curious. Can't fault me there. It's kind of why we're why we're here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. You're a little nervous. No, 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 no. I'm not. Um, my mom. Right. Okay. Sarah. She's not much older than you. Maybe even the same age. <laughs> Divorced though. Figures, right? <laughs> she's breathtaking as you turned out. <laughs> well, she's my mom, and all I'm embarrassed to say, but. Yeah, I mean, sorry, no, yes, yes. Uh, hey, look, you don't have to apologize to she, me. She's beautiful. Oh, people, Jocelyn. Okay, okay, so your mom is beautiful. And now she lives... Local, I, Upper East Side. Local. I don't know about that. After all this time. Yes, okay, go. Okay, go. Yes, uh, now go. Uh, what, what do I say? Say. No, 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 you, you don't say, you, you, you don't speak. No. You gaze. 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 You're not a flute, you're not an oboe, you are a cello. Sonorous, dauntless. You go back over there and you look at her. I mean, you really look at her because this gaze must be held over four measures of rest and then you will listen and you will hear the pluck of the violin, and then a trill, and then the first hint of the melody on the piano, and then you're off. Just listen. Yes. Just listen. Listen, you would be surprised how many people don't li No, can't listen. But you'll see, you know, it will come as it was, as if it, it was always there, you know? Like all melodies, they're in the air, they're in you, they're in me. They just need to be harnessed. Okay, go. <laughs> thinking about what you said. What's that? That great lives deserve great deaths. <clears throat> so, honey, honey. Yeah? Do you have an, do you have an ideal way you'd like to die? Just one way? No, I'm sure there are several fitting ways. I got one. Uh, 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 how about uh, crushed and broadsided by a crosstown bus? No. Make headlines. No, no, no. Accidents are like red herring, you know? How about murder? He meditated. Yeah. Execution style. Two shots in the back of the head. <laughs> Just like that. By the jealous husband of a beautiful young Alsatian woman. Uh, artist painting landscapes at the foot of the black forest. Who I discovered and discovered and discovered. <laughs> at the foot of the black forest. <laughs> What are you, living in a fairy tale? <laughs> that would have been a hell of a time to go, though, because, believe me, I was ready, because, darling, I saw heaven with her. How are you going to 
going to eat your salad? Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I love New York. I mean, as I'm sure you do, as, as I'm sure everybody does, it's just... The trick to the city is that no matter how much you love it, it's, it's not capable of loving you back. Right. But, but what the, the city can do, better than any place else in the world, is set the stage for success. And not just professionally, but, but personally. Set the stage for love. I'm overjoyed that you were able to join me here today. <laughs> on stage, <laughs> but the spotlight's hardly on me. It's on you. You're beautiful. And I, like the audience, I'm sure I'm having a hard time not only being at ease, but taking my eyes off you. Wow. <laughs> the way you said that was so... Yeah, it is. I, I mean, it, it was. That, that was eloquent. <laughs> Yeah, eloquent, melodic even. Wow, a real Casanova you are. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that was good. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> guy can die a hundred years ago and still come up in a conversation. That is when you know that your life has had an impact. Casanova, right? Trust? I can't say I ever trusted you in the first place. I shouldn't truly place your trust in anyone. Only took half my life to understand that. <laughs> Lucky me, huh? Sounds like your mother again. Or do you call a madam too? Life lessons from convicted felon. Tell me, Claus, you teach you that through the glass? Trust. No. More of a hope. A belief. That I had provided everything you required to keep you from stray. Required? What I required? I had no idea. What you, you don't know can't hurt you. That's some sort of absolute, right? It is right. It doesn't hurt. It kills, slowly. A gaze of adoration. Succumbing to what has been there, what has always been there since the beginning. And even there now, in the end, his love for her. But love is now fading. There is another passion, equally potent, and overriding his initial affection for this Cleopatra. But you don't know who took more lovers. Cleopatra or Casanova. What's the deal, huh, Don? Can we just play chess? I am playing. Cleopatra took her first lover when she was 12 years old. Okay, okay, 12, okay, so what? I'm just saying. Something to be said about that. About what? About getting an early start. Queen me, big guy. That you... The woman? Yeah. The one you saw heaven with in the black forest. In hell, too. Uh -huh. Her name was Dominique. Dominique, yeah, right. And her husband? Never knew. So it's true? <laughs> Before or after we were. Before and after. With Dominique? And others. And others. You're asking? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm interested. I have a right to know. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. We're married. Oh, come on. What does that really mean? It means that 33 years ago we took vows. That's oh, what it means. Grow up. Uh, there's a big difference between the mind and the body, the body and the mind, and nothing. Not even. 
marriage is going to harness the land. I would appreciate it if you took the edge off of your voice. Why, you insulted me. I insulted you. You just told me that you had multiple affairs. Yes, and when you asked me with whom you made it sound as if you couldn't possibly believe that any woman would actually even have any... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what? It's just that you're Hal. Yes, I am. I'm Hal. I mean, it's nice to meet you. That's exactly why I did it. Oh, you're you're my you Hal. I mean, since when did you get around? When did I get around? <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic. In order for you to park your car for 27 years on the street without ever getting a ticket, that little Buick, I mean, you had to lead a pretty humdrum life. Humdrum? Humdrum, baby. When did you ever leave the island? Never since I've known you. Oh, but I have. Oh, really? Yes. I've been nagging you to take a trip with me since I met you. Huh. To leave the borough, at least. It's just so amazing to be here with you, to touch you, to look at you. Like, I think about or, or thought about, oh, you don't want to know that. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know it's just a short time that we've spent. Short? My dear, in the grand scheme, it's been but a, but a moment. But we're together now, and it's like you're the missing piece of my life. You make it possible for me to finally make sense of myself. All right. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's not get carried away here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. You know I want to be a part of your life, a, a significant part. Well, yeah, no, yes. <laughs> you made me who I am today. No, no, I, I played a small part. No, yes, no, but I... not a small part. Yeah. No one understands me, and now I know why. You're my answer. You, like, complete me and stuff. I, I already know that I love you. Oh, my God, did I just say that? But no, it, it's true. I, I it's, mean, it's, it's, it's okay. I, uh... You know what I heard? <laughs> what? 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 About love. Bukowski. Charles Bukowski. The poet. Doesn't mince words, that guy. He just... The poetry just falls out of him. You know, he's pockmarked and smoking, and I saw a documentary on the guy. Mm-hmm. Sitting back and taking drags of a cigarette, and the interviewer asks him about life and death and love. What is love? What about love? Now, I wasn't paying much attention up until then, but then I sat up and took notice. And Bukowski, without missing a beat, in his short breaths and raspy baritone voice, says, You love me? Yes, love, don't you love me? <sighs> uh, <laughs> man, Jocelyn, love is a morning mist, a fog, but the daylight of reality burns away. Bleak. So free, so young. <laughs> You've not even put yourself on a limb, but you are dancing on it. Can't you tell me? Don't you love me? J'ai trouvé. Ah. Emily Dickinson. Ah. Mais oui. Il a raison pour une fois, Emily. Mais oui. Notre ah. recluse. Elle coupe contact avec tout le monde. Elle n'a même pas 23 ans. Oh, mais écoute, là, pour, pour se lancer comme ça dans une poésie sans rime, aussi, aussi en forme, il y a très bien un bouquet de ce rame-feu. Let's just put it this way, you only know 25% of who I really am. Oh my God, well please introduce me to the rest of you as soon as possible. It's in the book. Give me it. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> oh my God, I can't read this. It's all handwritten, are you kidding me? You give it back to me. 
you do it. See if you could decipher it. And please, none of the first chapters. I don't want the I don't want the kindergarten boo boos or the early childhood boo-boos. crushes. Excuse me, my dear. This isn't that kind of a book. No, no, no. This memoir is much more risque than that. Huh? Everyone else? Who? What do you do you think you're the only one? There's someone else. Oh no. Now see. You you're crying. No, I said I, I didn't. I didn't want it to turn into to like. Now no, you're crying. I thought I was the only one. No, 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 no. Well, how many others are there? I wouldn't know. Holy shit! Shh, shh, shh. Don't, oh. don't curse. No. Oh, you don't, don't like that? Curse. No, no. Shit, shit, shit. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know you, I, How do you, you like that? You know what? You need a drink. Here you go. Oh, oh no, no. What am I doing? Uh, you're not old enough. <laughs> Oh, now you want to be my father. <laughs> all right, I, I, all right, I deserve that. I have to go. No, wait. Go? Okay. All right, I, all right, I, I don't know. I, I understand why you have to go. I, I just, I don't want you to. No, I don't. Jocelyn, it's for your own good. It's for your own good, Justin. And hey, you know, don't tell your mom. Yeah, no kidding. Although I would like to call her sometime. Are you serious? You don't want to see me, but you're gonna call my mom. All right. Bye. Two o'clock. What? Every time, two o'clock. No. That's when he's due to arrive. And this time I'll be waiting for him. No, no. See, I too have a love of the dark, a demon. No, no, you don't understand. I believe I do. Quite perfectly. I suppose I could ask you about your family, you know, how you got along with your father. Mm-hmm. Your past relationships, all, all the men you've been with, you know, it's all the things that men foolishly concern themselves with when they're when they're meeting a woman for the first time. Because I just I really want to know about you and now. You know, like uh, the woman you become. <laughs> it's like we've all made mistakes. You know what I mean? Like you have, I have, it's all it's all right. It's, in fact, I like to think that the more mistakes somebody's made, the more lessons they've learned, so the more life they've lived. I don't know, some people call it jaded. I, I guess I prefer the term angles. You know? Like, like the more uh, angles, like a prism, the more spectacular the light. So tell me something. Right, well... Oh my god, where do I begin? Right here. Look, just right now. You tell me what you want me to know about you, and I will sit here, and I will do what I imagine not many men have done for you. What's that? Just listen. <sighs> okay. Um. You know what this is? Yes. You know what I'd like you to do with it? Oh, my word! Look at that ring. The last time this box was open was 13 years ago in St. Petersburg. Our favorite city here is mine. Above all others, Paris, Rome, Prague. We were there in June at the height of the White Nights. The three bridges that span the Never River, rise splitting the city in two. We found ourselves on the opposite side away from our hotel. In the glow of the sun just sitting there on the horizon. How cold it was. You are a vision. I mean, what do you think? What are men's perspective these <laughs> days? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want? The uh, the the man's perspective. Yeah. Because you know, on, on 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 what? I just just it's. I mean, I am a man, but I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a man. I mean, you are a man, no? You're being silly. 
Mm-hmm. So could you just excuse me? I have to go to the restroom for a second. So espressivo, I mean, allegro, you hit every note, every accent, and you listen. Yeah, I know, I know, I heard it too, like that, the, the uh, first movement, no, but... <laughs> but what? It, it became something else. Yes, yes, yes. As anything in life progresses, it must become something deeper. I looked at you, and for the first time, was accepting of all of you. Your past, your illness. Illness? What I did, I did for money. I'm not sick. What's sick is your mother hired me and then introduced me to her darling son. Is that you, darling? I might have been a whore, but to be born to one? You wear whore well. You miss it, don't you? The spread, the stare to the left, the wait, waiting, waiting till he's done with you. Tell me, Claude, have you figured out who your father is? The ring. I want it back. Unceremoniously, not for sentimental reasons as much as it will be symbolic. I don't even want to touch you. I want you to take it out of whatever dark place you've kept it so conveniently hidden. Place it in this box and step out of my life for good. And you'll be dead to me much as I'm sure I'm dead to you. You know which country has the highest divorce rate? of the second highest country, which happens to be Cuba of all places. You know what? I'm in. Mm -hmm. I actually want to know. Which is it, the US? Britain? No and no. Well, I don't know. Do you want to share? Maldives. Maldives? Like tsunami volleys? You know, Indian Ocean, series of small islands. Wow. Maldives. You know what the key to a happy marriage is? Don't get married in Maldives. Husband and wife like king and queen. Stay close, but always independent at all times. Chelsea, wow, you. <laughs> oh, look at you. You are gorgeous, aren't you? Well, I want to look my best for you. No, and, and you do, of course you do. But... <laughs> uh, although, you know, I guess I'm, well, I am somewhat responsible for that. <laughs> so how did you, how did you know that I was? Oh, well, um, just a, Country hunch. <laughs> oh, I, hmm, I haven't heard that one. Is, is that similar to a country mile? You know, the illusion of something being more of a stretch than it really is. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know. Look at you, all pretty fidgety. You're funny. A memoir? Yes. Wow. I hate memoir. <laughs> People write down only what they remember, and it turns out to be everything they should forget. Here's to memoirs. <laughs> well, let's see. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm gonna find something for you. Here, how about right here? Go ahead. 
Well, that was a very good day. Yeah, which I'm sure there were plenty. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, yeah, well, you know, you may not know this about me, but um, for a short time, I was a bugle player. You quite were a bugle player? A, yes, quite a good one at that. But I played the Kentucky Derby three times. Really? Yeah. And then I hit a sour note, sent the horses bucking, and made the favorite jock. Okay. Let's what see. else? Well, let's see. The second movement. The adagio. M meaning? Uh, adagio means uh, slow, like a ballad. I mean, the strings become like silk. Uh, the violin and the cello trading melodies uh, like kisses. Uh, Right, okay, so uh, slower, deeper. Yes, 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 yes. This is wrong. What do you mean? It's brilliant. You're getting better. It's horrible. Come again. What? What's wrong? No wonder she ran off. You should at least take a knee. Hmm, agreed. A knee. Yeah, proposals. What are we talking? Twice, three times nowadays? Well, there's gotta be something that we can do to nudge it along. Push it one way or the other. He's just sitting there. Yeah, there is. <sighs> what do you say to her? You'll see. Do, 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 do. Stone the other day. Here we go, here we go. Four pieces on the board, and he wants to talk about music. Oh, I thought you might just like to know what I read about. Oh, well, sure. I mean, you're going to tell me regardless, Don. No, so no I won't. It? No, I won't. Not if you don't want to hear it, I won't tell you. Oh, no, please, by all means, because, you know, you will be telling me. Anyway. Well, I was reading about a certain musical artist <laughs> who has more international acclaim and recognition than any other musical artist in the world. Hmm. People not only know his music, they know his lyrics, and they can sing his songs with the very same gusto that they were intended to be sung with. Gusto? Yes. Why? Whether you're uh, in St. Mark's Square in Venice, or in a karaoke club in Tokyo, whether you're up in the Arctic with the Eskimos, or down in the Amazon with the Game Hunter in the uncivilized tribes of Africa. Okay, all right. okay, you lost me at the Eskimos, but okay, we got it. So who's that? I don't know, Don. Is that Billy Joel playing? Mon Dieu, on commençait avec le piano man. Alors moi personnellement, mes morceaux préférés, Stranger, Street Life Serenade, j'adore, 55 Street, 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 grand morceau. Ouais. Tout pendant son époque turbulente. Du rock okay. suicidaire. Non, pas bien, hein, pas suicidaire. Ah c'est pas clair, mais déjà, il est tentative assez connue. Il s'est suicidé au vernis. Au vernis Et puis du jour au lendemain, ça lui arrive. Mais quoi, qu'est-ce qui lui est arrivé Tombe amoureux. Pas n'importe qui. Qui Christine Brinkley. Au milieu des années 80. Et sa musique, ça se casse la gueule. C'est de la merde. Uptown Girl. Non, ça, c'est pas Uptown Girl, depuis Modern Girl. Woman. <rire> la merde. Je pensais que tu pourrais dire quelque chose comme ça. Et. No, that is not Billy Joel playing, although it sounds like it, and no, that is a terrible guess. Well, how wonderful for you. I mean, what are your sisters' names? Helena and Scarlett. They're younger. Actually, four and two and a half. <laughs> it's hard. It's sometimes real tough. You know, coming down late for breakfast in the morning and seeing them already all huddled there around the table like a real family it doesn't quite matter if i'm Ugh. sometimes i'm not sure where i fit and then maybe that's why i'm here <laughs> well look i'm here for you now okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, you and i uh, were melodies the melodies, wow, I love that. Yeah, that's right. And of course, we have to allow each other to take the lead, but what is the lead without the accompaniment? 
No, no. And, and in order for melody to reach its true magnificence, it needs the support of a second instrument, you know, a, a harmony, if you will, and, and vice versa. Yeah. And, and just like that first movement of a symphony, that first speeding beat of our heart in a new relationship is very much like the happiest time or, a, or the allegro. I mean, as we both know, that happy time is, is a tease or a harbinger of things to come later. But in order for the melodies to reach their true fanfare, they need a second movement, a deeper emotional bond of a movement, the adagio. Adagio. Yeah, I, I feel like a trumpet player to your... Uh... Oh, what am I? Um, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a piano. No, no, I'm a flute, yes. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, then you hear it, the melodies. Yes, I can hear it. Oh, my God, I didn't know I had one. I mean, not one that I could hear or anything. The, the, the melodies just exist. Like, they've always been there within us. It's just about uh, listening to them and, and, and harnessing them and, and finding someone to harmonize with. Much as we might have found in one another. Oh. I mean, you asked me what men want. They want the same thing as you. To find someone to make beautiful music with. I guess I'm just a little bit alarmed that you think you feel this way already. I mean, we're only on our first date. Togo fit. <laughs> God, hell, this is rich. Yeah, and uh, let's see what else it is. Here, here, let me see if I can find another thing. Please. Uh, I was an alternate on the Marv Albert trial. Is that so? Yes, and I was dying to get on that, because if anybody knows about cross-dressing, oh. it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Beatles, easy, gotta be the Beatles. They're on everyone's lips and on everyone's hips, gotta be the Beatles. <laughs> they're in everyone's hips? Yes, they are, in everyone's hips, and they're on everyone's lips. That's how pervasive the Beatles are. No. It is not the Beatles. It's not them. No. Okay. It's enough. It's enough. A lot more here. Forgive me for questioning you, but when did all this happen? You never talked about any of this to me. Well, no. 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 So? Well, in the silences. In the silences? Uh, 30 years we've been coming here, right? Mm-hmm. Same spot, same table. Mm, we're married. Yes, we converse at times, huh? more in the beginning than now. Um, and usually it's me listening and you talking. Well, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, most of all, of all, we're quiet. People look at us and they think, uh, what a musty life we must live, huh? Being together so long, nothing to talk about but the day. Huh? Yeah, the eggs, the pancakes. Uh, we're sitting idle here. A couple of blank looks. Yeah, wallowing in our own familiarity for one another. <laughs> You're like a jazz riff, you know that? <laughs> Always tell you not to order the onion soup. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so scrumptious, but so toilsome to eat. Oh, 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 oh. Have a little something right here, a small piece of basil. There, you've got it. it smells good. Be careful, don't burn yourself. C'est Eleanor Rigby, non? Where did they all be, non? Il a fait de la solitude, Eleanor. Je veux pas en dire autant. Oh, wait, you, you were here with someone else before me? Yeah. This morning? Yeah. And uh, I have another one coming in about an hour. An hour? Giving me an hour. Impossible. But something's got to get me back to where I was. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, the 
There's only one way you can seduce her now. What? Just go back over there and take the lead. Uh, what do I do? Would you just listen. You'll hear it, and when you hear it, you won't have to know what to do. It will just take you over. This is from another pair in the place, hoping the best for you and yours. Anything for you, Gally? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, how about a Gibson? Oh, spicy. Remind... A jigger of Jan Gordon's, uh, pony of vermouth, preferably French, and... An onion. Pearl, right? Yeah, a pearl onion, to chase away a cold. Oh, oh I'm kind of chilly in here, you know? Uh, no, no, thanks. I'm fine. Had my last drag coupled with my fourth divorce 15 summers ago. Kicked a bad habit and a bad husband. Bravo. Kicked no more like I had my fill. <sighs> Don't suppose I could tempt you. <laughs> like I said, I had my fill of both smoking and men. I was talking about the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. What was this all about then? What's what? This, us. Uh, oh, no, I understand something. Uh, there, there is no us. But you insist on making out to be something you did purely for selfish reasons is something priceless to me. And yet you act so callous. I don't detach. I... Oh. Your friend left you here by yourself. They promised they would. Yes, they did. Now what? No, no, I do what. Any other guesses? Elvis Presley. No, not Elvis Presley. Dylan. You'd think so, but no. My mind has been everywhere but here. Life is in the listening. At least it is for me. I just want to get this straight. So, everything you wrote down, all this then in your head, this stuff, this is, this is stuff you, you overheard? No. I don't Because if you're not joking, this is uh, a little too much to... Uh, More than you can take in all at once? You betcha. Well, that's your fault, because I've been trying to tell you for years it's amazing how much you miss when you rely solely on a bottle for your message. I'm drinking because you're sick. But, my dear, you have always concentrated on one aspect of the thing. And what would that be? The gossip, when there is so much more to it and so much more money to be made. Oh, really? Yes. So what you do is lucrative? One has to be smart about it, of course, discount most of what one hears, but there have been a few gems along the way. Stock picks, horse race fixes, real estate deals, ideas heard in passing. It's amazing the things that people won't pack. Right. Is that so? That's so. Let's just say this tidy sum I've been able to amass. Tidy. Several million, now edging up into the teens. Patience. Pardon? Patience, that's what the British call it. Patience. Right. Forty thieves, idiots, delight, spider, they're all variations. But I like mine pretty much just straight ahead. It's a game for one. Mm. Me, I love patience. You know, it's like striving for perfection. Supposedly, Napoleon was the first one to play it, and now me. In exile, no doubt. Please, 
Mrs. Crimmins. Yes? Tell me about your husband. What? You want to know about my husband? Well, why don't you just ask him yourself? Mrs. Crimmins, please. Do you mind? No more of that, please. I ask only because for a woman like yourself to hold on like you do, you must have been a very special man. Okay. Thanks, Doc. It's too late for me for love, but not for you. So go now and let me begin. No, 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 don't worry about it. I got her. She's all mine. Wait. You got her? No. I romanced her for you. Without my music, you are an idiot. Oh, yeah? Yes, yes. You see, she's much too exquisite to be that strong. I start out very delicately. Just a legato violin and cello. No, 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 no. No, thanks. I got it from here. Now, I suppose that I brought up uh, Napoleon because we do have something in common, but not exile. Now, we both have the ability to stage one spectacular coup. His passion was France, mine was bad marriages. A woman can be so delicious on the flip side. Prepare for the worst, right, Hal? Anything in your little book? Prepare us for this? Huh? I suppose we should talk about your will. My will? Mm. Not that I believe one iota of what you told me or what you wrote, but if it is true, where the heck is this money you're talking about? Where? Yeah, where? I mean, I would like to believe that this is true, but... Never mind. I actually don't. <laughs> it's okay. And if it is true, and I didn't leave it to you, what would you do? I would kill you faster than any cancer could. That's what I would do. Now, let's go. My husband. Oh, he, uh, he, uh. Let's go. I like to think he was the world's last gentleman. Pardon me. May I? I, I, di I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I, I, I didn't know what I, what I signed up for. Well, that's it. There's nothing to say. What can I say? Oh, sucker born every minute, right? I, I don't. Don't tell you. died of an overactive imagination. So what are you doodling there? The Times crossword. I thought the only gray lady in this room was four tables over. You finish? Right, well, yes and no. Uh, let's just say, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. What? Your Thank memoir. You. Do, do you mind? Oh, no. Go right ahead. 
Oh, so you did finish. I did. As did you. But you not only finished, you started it. You're Royston Wheel. That's me. Call me Roy. Roy? Well, though it must be a lot harder to do what you do, tougher, too. Uh, most people just solve the problem, but you have to create it. Creating it must be a lot more daunting. Create them every day. They get even harder as the week goes on. Mm. Yeah, I bet. Must be tough. I mean, meet a deadline like that. Yes and no. So with anything, you develop a method by which each puzzle can be completed and published on time. Published? Well, don't necessarily think of it like that, but people do pay for the paper. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I've been trying to get my memoir... Published. I know. <laughs> yeah, I guess you would, because you... Overheard. Right, yeah. Oh, my God, here he comes. Okay. Now... Pardon me for... for asking, and if, if, if this is too forward, by all means, let me have it. <laughs> But would you... Hmm. Would, would you be available maybe in the coming week for... Not, not for coffee, obviously, but I don't know, maybe... Um, dinner? A cozy Italian home? You know? And downtown for a little jazz at the St. Paul place? Wow. Every now and again. Are you kidding? No. Now, I don't suppose that it's a coincidence that that rat trap is right underneath your table. <laughs> Someone, uh, delicious joining you today? Divine. Ah, but that love's a puzzler, isn't it? I mean, yeah, sometimes it's a match, but more often than not, it's a miss. And then how do you know? I mean, you're obviously all ready to have a little proposal going on over there. Look at you with your ring and your bubbly, you popper, you. But how do you know when it's time? You are an inquisitive one. Hey, I can relate. I mean, I've got a lover, too. Are you in love? No question. How do you know? Uh, your overhearing is beyond rude. It's almost criminal. Well, then explain it. I mean... The name is Grant. The theme this time was personal. Me? You. Wow. Yes. You. <laughs> You'll be in Sunday's edition. Sunday's edition, really? Tomorrow? Well, uh, next week. Oh. Yeah, so. Funny thing about crosswords. Yeah? The, the real effort, uh, besides coming up with the words, is making them all link together uh, accordingly, both across and down, to make other words. Well, well, you know. But what you may not know is that the final word is sometimes filled in on its own. A word created based solely on the other words coming together. A word unintended. It just appears. It just appears. Huh? And what's even more miraculous, every time it happens, it always fits. Fits. With the theme of the crossword. I don't know why or how. It, it just fits. Huh. Care to see? Uh, see? What? Your word. I donated to a sperm bank. Legally, you can do so every three weeks, and I, you know, I did it, I don't know, a, a few times. And paid me enough to get by, so over the next few years, I, I donated. And I, I donated. And you I donated. Mm -hmm. And so now those girls that you see me. You're with our kids, your kids. Yeah. Oh, so why the cake? Well, legally, when they reach the age of 18, they're able to look at the profile of the person who donated. And I checked the box that said I would be willing to be looked up when they were ready. And I suppose I get to see the other stuff my IQ, my appearance, my. Uh, interest. Oh, I suppose that's why I was chosen by so many women over and over and over. That you're a total hunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you say? How about it? Would you like to?
this is, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Laura, um, uh, whatever. All right, whatever. This is Deirdre. We were just talking about, uh, what were we talking about? Love. Love, that's right. Somewhat of a puzzler, that love, you know what you said, Laura? Right. Yeah, but apparently Laura's got it all figured out. She knows when she's really in love with somebody who I guess is arriving here any minute. Isn't that what she said? At round two? Yep. It'll be late, I imagine. Yeah. Close to two. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, that begs a question, though. I mean, what is it about this woman that makes you know that you love her above all others? Well, I... Well, I mean, really, who cares? I mean, let's just have a toast. Well, we got we got to get another glass from waiting for you. No, 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 it's really okay. No, really, come I'm on. What, what, no, we, we should have a toast. <laughs> oh, no, I was thinking maybe we could get some dessert. I mean, I'm having such a great time, and I thought... Maybe we could spend a little bit more time together. Oh, okay. I mean, I just thought. What? I mean, you know. Yeah, you know, like since we're getting along so well, we can just go back to my place. And what? Sorry. Go back to your place? On a first date? I mean, it's a little bit late for sorry, don't you think? My God, that was so rude. But I mean, you're not so typical. Oh, but, but, you, you know... Uh, no, no, look, uh, Clara, I... I Clara! Just... Mm -hmm. Did you see what he just did? What? He's breaking something in that champagne flute. What? 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 Rat poison. All right, then. You should know you're a fan of film noir, poison. To fitting ends and new beginnings. Cheers. Rose? Rose. Rose. I don't know. No say. Mm. Gotta get down to the times now, anyway. Have a puzzle I have to deliver by four. It's a doozy, all right. I drew it up at Penn Station yesterday. Another cafe? No, I had a uh, coffee break with some maintenance guys. Right. Definitely an interesting crew. <laughs> uh, by the way, here's my card. Uh, main number on the bottom there with my extension. Mm -hmm. you, you'll let me know when it happens? What? Rose. What it means. Well, like I said, it always means something. Usually a good thing. Yeah. Poison, what are you talking about? <sighs> Look, I know I like to dramatize, but somebody's been poisoned. Who? I don't know. He mixed the glasses well. She's up and about to take a knee. Oh, my God. Champagne. What have we done? He took poison. I thought it was for you or you. Oh, no. Turn around. He's trying to say something. What did he say? He said, turn around. What? <laughs> Will you marry me? I, I just had a good feeling about you, and, um, you know, it's just like a... I just thought... Shh. Just, uh, what, what? Shh. Okay, okay, okay. shh. shh. Oh, can you just be quiet for a second? I mean, you've been doing a lot of talking, don't you think? Okay. Who is that man? Oh, uh, what, what man? The guy. The guy who's been staring at us and you at him the whole time? Oh, that man? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, kind of a long story. Uh, how familiar are you with music? That's what I mean. I can hear it. But the, the sonata, you can? Yeah. It's beautiful. Can you hear it? 
No, I, I can't. I mean, I mean, I could before, but now I can't. <laughs> oh, look at it sparkle. Oh, oh. she likes diamonds. You're in big trouble. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't but I heard most of your conversation. <laughs> anyway, I, I thought I'd fill you in on someone. My favorite artist, poet, musician you might not have thought about regarding your pain principle. Oh. Someone who uh, words actually often come to mind when I'm thinking about my husband, when I think about our time here together. Like I said, it's been three years since I'm knocking at your door, and still, I can knock some more. You see, in life, I know there's lots of grief, but your love is my relief. I got it. I got it. He's finally got it. Bob Marley. That's it. No <laughs> woman, no cry. Oh, shit. No cry. Please, don't cry. Checkmate. Congratulations. <laughs> so what'd you think of my play? I loved it. <laughs> oh, I loved it. We're like an hour into overtime. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. So what did you, uh, so nice touch with the poison. Well, we tried strangling, you know, in uh, rehearsal, but it didn't really work as well as the poison. Obituaries, please. <laughs> yeah, hi. Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to place an obituary for tomorrow, please. Neither. No, it doesn't make any difference to how I know him, I just do. Yeah. Hal Smathers. Al Smathers. Uh, no, no, oh, wait, is it $50.40? $50 and it's a five line minimum? And no, wait, let me ask you something. Um, what's the maximum? The maximum number of lines? There's no maximum? Huh. No, um, I I'll need more than a fax. Uh, listen, um, I'll drop it off in, uh, today, okay? Tomorrow, Sunday? Wow, yeah. All right, um, I'll be right down. Okay. What? Rose. You beat me every time. The wisdom of the crowd. The brilliance of the bunch, my friend. 
H.L. Mencken said, no one ever went broke underestimating the intelligence of the great masses of the plain people, hmm. which directly contradicts Mao, who said, listen to the people and then teach them. I disagree with Mao. I think if one is truly aware of one's surroundings, one can learn everything one wants from the collective minds that exist in the most mundane of places. Like this cafe. Voila. If one pays more attention to one's surroundings than oneself, it's all quite a spectacle. Hmm. Want to play again?